This uh, theme, feet of clay, uh, uh, comes from the book of Daniel in the Old Testament, where Nebuchadnezzar, the king of Babylon, had had this dream of this huge statue. Head is made out of gold, breast and arms out of silver, further down, copper, uh, uh, and then the feet, towards the feet, steel, and then clay. The feet were clay. So, and he wanted to have interpreted his dream, but, you know, and then he had, he had a, a, a prophet um, there who could tell what it means, you know, that was uh, uh, Daniel. And um, he said that basically, if a, if a kingdom has no solid feet, it will tumble. And he predicted uh, that the imperia after him will, will all tumble. So that's a, a general, of course, a metaphor, which is also valid in our days. I translated it in such a way that I have here as a background uh, uh, a little uh, association to, to a, uh, a city imploding. It's like a bird's view, it could be New York or whatever, you know, high rises. And, and the feet, of course, quite realistic. And I overlapped it with another uh, uh, prophecy in the Bible, which is the writing on the wall at the Belzatsar's uh, party. There was suddenly this writing saying, Mene, Mene, Tekel, Ufarzim, which is Aramaic, and it says, numbered, numbered, wait, wait, and divided. And it was interpreted also by, by a prophet there that uh, it's also meaning the Imperia will tumble. So I have those layers in, in here, which there's a modern version, and of course the antique, classical uh, realism, and the, you know, the classic, classic had, had all, uh, the, the figures had, had a, a, were according to a high ideal of beauty. Of course, nowadays, when, when we do that in the 21st century, uh, it's a bit, um, yeah, after the, the deconstructivism, it's, it's very anachronistic. But of course, in this case, we were playing with that uh, classical uh, idea. So that's why I kept it in all my versions here of, of this feet of clay. So this, this work here has as a background, very subtly, uh, not visible really uh, at the first glance, hair. This hair referring to, the, to Lucas 7 in the New Testament, um, telling the story about, about that uh, prostitute who, who came into that um, uh, dinner or lunch, whatever <laughs> you will call it, Jesus had at the Pharisees, and she brought uh, this oil bowl and washed the, the feet of Jesus and cried and the, the, her tears fell onto his, onto his feet and she was drying his feet with her own hair. So there is another reference there in, in, in our Bible or to feet, uh, so which I took as well into this, into this narrative of feet of clay, which has different points in the Bible. So that is one of those illustrations, but of course, I tried to do it as subtle as I can, just to leave it open for other inter interpretations. But this was the first uh, impetus to do that. Yeah. Here we would have a, uh, another version of the same theme, feet of clay. And it is already insinuated here, uh, the, the associate, oh, this ascension, the ascension of Christ uh, indicated, and the good and the bad, which is of course coming from the old Persian manichaeism, which divided uh, ideologically, you know, good and bad. And uh, we had that in the, in the Christianity as well. In the background, you can see a, a structure which could be the Tower of Babel, you know, if you, I mean, that's my interpretation, 
but uh, with all these works for feet of clay, it's always open for interpretation. But it's, uh, as well, uh, it has a little bit of a, 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 a pictural quality, painted, uh, painting quality. Um, all of these, by the way, are mixed media on aluminium. I have to talk, talk about the uh, techniques as well, of course. So yeah, uh, that's number three. I have another one. This is actually um, the feet of clay, quite literally. I mean, the feet holding up the gold, the imperium, feet of clay. Different materials, gold, black sand from Taranaki, iron sand, earth, and, and just uh, white oxide. So that's quite simple. Try to make a formally simple work as well. A bit constructivistic, geometrical. Uh, yeah, so this is basically the, 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 the base, the ground structure, the first idea I had, this one here, and then from the, this one I went on to the other ones. Mm -hmm. 